Mm. Oh, that's hot. Hot, 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 but good. Mm. I'm about to hop on a flight in a few hours. I am going to New York my first time. I can't believe it. I am excited. I'm actually quite surprised I've never been to New York. So maybe I'll vlog the trip. If you want me to vlog the trip, hit like, leave a comment. But yeah, today in hindsight, my name is Heinz. Welcome to the number one chill spot on YouTube. About a month ago, we did a video called don't date these type of people. And we went over what I believe to be some red flags um, when you're looking for your person. And you know, everybody else gave their input in the comment section, go read the comments, it's great. It got a little bit controversial at points, but it was a good topic. So I decided that, you know, I think we should do it again. But this time, instead of focusing on the red flags, let's uh, talk about some green flags some positives in a sense, some beautiful things we can look for in other people while we are building our divine partnerships, unions, you understand, kingdom marriages, whatever it may be, because I believe that's the best armor we can equip ourselves with and the best seeds we can plant in our life. And let's be honest, I'm sure 90% of us, 80, 90, 99, whatever it may be, is looking for a little bit more love in our lives. So thank you for your patience. So the first green flag i got my notes here again in my new journal love this journal i've just been i've been getting busy in here let me tell you a lot of blessings are about to come but our first green flag is find somebody who's already doing the work you understand someone who is developing themselves someone who is actually interested in growth and maybe similar growth that you are doing so you have a lot that you can resonate with you know they always say you got to be two whole people that come together. You know, I don't think we are ever whole, but I think there does come a point where you've done a lot of the work you could do by yourself. And the next step is stepping into a divine partnership. Self-love is really the first love, right? But after you build all that self-love and you got this love, what are you going to do? You're going to want to pour it into somebody else. And you're definitely going to want to pour it into somebody else's cup who can also pour into you. So find somebody who is already doing the work, you understand? So you're not trying to fix people, carry them and carry unnecessary weight because I don't know, I've been there before, I'm sure you have been there before and we know the outcome of that. I love self-improvement, you know, I love, um, you know, talking about spirituality with my, I love just anything where we can sharpen each other because I believe that's what a relationship does, right? You can sharpen each other and you become so intimate that that is the catalyst for a whole new level of growth. I believe when you meet the right person, they are like a key that will unlock new depths within your heart understand that you didn't even know were there but if you link up with a person who's not doing the work i don't think we're going to discover many depths instead we're going to be digging deep pits of pain and sorrow and grief and regret and none of us want to do that my next green flag is find somebody who's sexually disciplined you understand like somebody who is in control of their energy and for some reason every time i say this it becomes like a controversial topic i had like multiple tweets like kind of go like a little viral and i didn't even say anything that controversial but for some reason they just went crazy but if you look like even in the media this past week there was like a celebrity i think his name was like adam levine and he got caught cheating and what is that? That is somebody who's not sexually disciplined. He was willing to throw away his marriage, he's married to a beautiful woman, his kids, all for an Instagram model. Some DMs and who knows where else it went, right? Like, this is why I am so strong on lust. And I always say we need to attack it at the root and solve it and heal it because that can manifest and destroy your life in the future. You understand? Like, really think about that. This man has it all. He had a great public perception, beautiful wife, kids, a career, and he was willing to throw all of that away just for a little bit, just for an Instagram model. Ridiculous, right? So when we're dating, when we're meeting people, find someone who is sexually disciplined. And I always say, you know, my rule is like, 
you know, don't date somebody who watches porn. Simple, right? Because people who do that, often what happens is they don't learn how to receive a no or like I'm not in the mood. They just go to that to satisfy their flesh every single time, right? They don't know how to transfer their energy into anything else, right? And to me, I think like the way we behave in our real world is still the way we should behave online. And I think if we are in a relationship, to me, I personally think it's cheating to go online and watch that stuff, right? Like you have a beautiful partner, but you're going to go online and pay attention to, you know, that type of Im imagery. It doesn't make sense to me. And I think those plant unhealthy seeds of lust that grow, manifest, and wreck relationships in the future. So find somebody that is sexually disciplined so y'all can have a beautiful union and engage with freedom and safety and you don't have to have that stress like it's such a waste of energy and love to be in a relationship where you are scared if the other person is going to cheat like think about all your energy should be going into pouring into each other and building your life you understand happy thoughts good things productive things not oh what are they doing right it's so unnecessary and we're going to talk about this more in another video third green flag um this is one that i'm in, i'm experiencing right now is find someone that you respect like really respect and somebody that inspires you you understand like you get excited about their mind don't just look for somebody that you think can fit into your life right for your needs to serve you but somebody that you genuinely respect. I believe if you genuinely respect someone, then you're always going to treat them with honor. You understand? You're less likely to, you know, disrespect them and cheat on them. If you respect them and they inspire you, y'all are like a powerful union, just pouring into each other and sharpening each other and just being a beautiful creation. I actually realized like, in a, I don't think I've ever been with anybody in my past who like inspired me um, until now. And just experiencing that is a whole different experience. And I realized, yeah, like that is an amazing seed in a relationship and just cultivates such great energy. I think a lot of times people try to look for people that can just tick off boxes. They're like, yeah, you know, they look good. Uh, yeah, they got some good values. Yep, yeah, okay, I think it can work, blah, 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 blah. But there actually isn't like a respect there you know you're not inspired them inspired by them you know you're not that interested in their mind you just think they can fit into your life maybe you're alone or maybe you're lusting over them right i think starting a relationship off with lust is always a bad seed you understand i think starting it off with like respect and like curiosity and love and inspiration and you know alignment right and no fear that's a beautiful thing right there our next one we're gonna go quick in this video we're not gonna spend too much time our next one will be somebody that will celebrate your growth right like we all have a past like the, every single one of us has, has done things that we're probably not proud of and we don't really have to tell everybody you know what we've done or where we've been but it is a beautiful thing when you can be open about your story with somebody and they can see your growth and not judge you you understand like that's a beautiful thing like they fall in love with your growth and they're not judging you for your past because they realize like wow you are a visible testimony you know sometimes people are afraid to tell people about who they truly are so they mold themselves into a new image right and now they're lying to this person and now you're planting a toxic seed i think like the beginning of a relationship is so important and then like everything you do there you are planting seeds so like if there's a lot of insecurities or jealousy or fears and like you don't speak about it now you've planted a seed and those things are going to grow so you need to start that relationship off or that dating life off with truth right respect honesty because those seeds will manifest and grow and if it's not the right seed we already know where that's going to lead for me i am always like attracted in growth you understand knowing where someone's been where they are now and then i'm like wow if you've grown that much like where are we gonna go together like the growth is going to be immaculate and i think it's important 
I think it's important that somebody can see you for you, like who you truly are. You don't gotta pretend, you, got, you don't gotta make this fake image, and they just love you for you. Where you've been, where you are, and where you're growing. That's a beautiful thing. And my last one is just simply like, someone that brings a calm to your spirit, that's a green flag. Like, there's no fears and no doubts. You know, in a lot of my past relationships, I realized like there was always like doubts. You know, I actually would just be like, oh yeah, you know, this is a good person. I think it could go somewhere. And you know, you generate some feelings, but there's still like a lot of fears and a lot of doubts. I think we need to pay attention to those people who bring a calm to our spirit, you understand? There isn't fears, right? There isn't doubts. For some reason, like you are just there, present, curious, excited. And that is a beautiful feeling to embody because a lot of the time, we just skip red flags. A lot of the time, we just, you know, say, uh, maybe it will get better. But we can feel in the beginning that, you know, it's uncomfortable. There's fear there. There's like this deep doubt. But we're like, ah, maybe I'll hold out. For me, I think there's a lot to learn just in the beginning and paying attention to our intuition, paying attention to how I feel, how we feel. And of course, things can evolve and change. But for me, what I've experienced is having those, having that confirmation and no fears and no doubts is like one of the most beautiful seeds you can plant. And once you can experience that contrast and be like, wow, yeah, now I know what it feels like when someone brings a calm to my spirit, then you're gonna know, right? And if you experience that, that's probably your person, right? For me, I really think like one of the most important things over the next 10 and 15 years is that people really start to develop their communities, you know, their unions, their divine partnerships, you know, their marriages, their family, because yes, as much as we all have our personal goals and independent goals, you know, I've done so many things in my life and especially in the last two years, I've had so many blessings, but I've even experienced firsthand first, like money is just money. You know, popularity on, online, it's cool, but it's not like fully satiating. You know, I was watching a video and somebody was saying they were at um, their grandmother's like 90th anniversary and there were like, 50 people there, 100 people there that all came from her. And that was like a true sign of her wealth. Like, look at all these people, all the love that just came from this one woman, you know? And I understand not everyone's gonna have families, not everyone's gonna go down that route, but I think majority of people do, and majority of people want to. And I think we just need to start to really do the work on ourselves, you understand? Be more conscious of who we are integrating with, who we are connecting with, right? Because when we connect with the wrong people, it takes months, it could take years to heal. And at some point, we don't have to learn any more lessons, you understand? At some point, I think we just gotta be patient, do the work, and meet the right person, and go for it, you understand? And build that beautiful life. So those are a couple green flags, quickly, you understand? Um, we're gonna have some more videos like this, definitely. I have a flight to catch, like literally in a few hours, and I still have some packing to do because I am a last minute packer every single time, it's horrible. So you done know, in hindsight, everything is gonna be all right. We power by. Mm. And it's a vibe thing. I'll see you soon. Let me know in like uh, the comment section what are some green flags for you and um, any other videos around this topic you want to talk about. So we'll get to it. Blessings, friends.